Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So T-Mobile reports their Q1 earnings on April 25th. Verizon is going to report theirs per their calendar on April 22nd. So I'll leave a link to this calendar in the description in case you guys may want to check it out. There's all the other dates already listed for the for the other quarterly earnings reports. So I'll leave that in the description so you guys can check it out if you would like. So here's what I'm hearing with Verizon. I've seen some of their preview numbers and they're set to take a loss in Q1. For those of you who've watched my videos during the, the fourth quarter, right, even before those numbers were announced, I was very adamant about them uh, being positive because it's 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 just not hard. It's the fourth quarter. The, the consumer is, is, is in a buying mood, if you will. There, there, there's a lot of impulsive buying that happens during that quarter. And it's the holiday shopping season. So there's just general traffic or generally more traffic during that quarter. So if you just if you don't grow in the fourth quarter, I mean, you, you, you just got to give it up. Right. And what happened? Verizon grew. But I said back in those videos I want to see Verizon grow in Q1, Q2, Q2, Q3. Way more important in my opinion. And based on the previews, as bad as they've come in, right, close to 200,000 loss, that the likelihood of Verizon officially announcing a loss in Q1 is just through the roof for me. And I've seen that on many previews. So we're back to square one. Verizon said... In Q3, going into Q4, we got some momentum. So we took that at face value. It came from them. So, of course, we'll look into it. We saw a churn coming down a bit. And then we saw, oh, they got momentum. And then they grew in the fourth quarter, which I called. I said, ah, they're going to grow. It's, it's, it's not hard to do in the fourth quarter. And that's what happened. They grew. And now we turn around. We go into a slower quarter, which... By the way, is, is, is a bad quarter for Verizon historically. It's not like they have Q, a, a good Q1s. And we might see them post a loss of close to 200000 So we're back to square one. So now you lose 200,000 customers in the, in the first quarter. You have no momentum going into the second quarter because you just raised price. That will carry over into the second quarter. You you in they increased that price late in Q1. A lot of people may have not seen their bill until actually recently. Or some may have not checked it at all and just checked their bank account and noticed hey the auto pay is higher for Verizon. So that will affect them going into the second quarter. So I fully expect I expect churn levels to be up a little bit in Q1. But they didn't get enough new people in. That's why the, the losses could be what they, what they you know, officially are announced to be. In Q2, I fully expect them to take losses on a churn bubble because of the price increase in the later part of Q1. $4 per line is just noticeable. It's too noticeable. If it's like a dollar two, okay. But you do $4 per line, if people have four or five lines, they are going to notice that 100%. So now you got Visible uh, upping their, their feature package at the same price. You got Mobile X, you got Cable, you got T-Mobile. There's just too much competition to come in with that high of a price increase, in my opinion. The networks are the closest they've ever been. So just tough to deal with for Verizon right now. Um, carry absolutely zero momentum. If they come, if they officially announce close to 200,000 loss in Q1 on, on, wi on wireless consumer postpaid. They have no momentum going into the second quarter because of the price increase. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you're surprised. Let me know if you expect the Verizon to take a loss. Let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.